Hello and welcome to my channel. So today is date night for the first time in forever. Long time. Yep. And we're going to try out Liverpool's biggest food hall. It is at the Met Quarter, if you know where that is. One of the main reasons why we're actually going today is because today is the opening day, like the official, official opening day. So I saw it in the paper and I was like, we have to go today. I literally saw it this morning when we woke up. I was like, Cal, we need to go out tonight to try the opening day of this place. That's what we're gonna do. We will see you when we're there. So we headed down to Liverpool's biggest food hall. And it's actually called GPO. It's pretty cool because the name is actually what the building used to be. And it was Liverpool's general post office. But now obviously they've transformed it into this massive food hall where there's loads of independent food and drink traders all under this one roof. And this is what it looks like from the outside. As you can see, the building is very beautiful. I did some research and it's actually a 19th century facade and this is what it looked like from the inside I think it's stunning I think it's a very modern take on a food hall it looks very chic and very inviting the cool thing about this whole concept is everything is ordered online so you scan to order and everything's on your phone so this is kind of what it looks like when you go on your phone after scanning it and as you can see there are so many vendors here and then when you open them up it goes to like starters mains there's sides, there's so much stuff. And because we booked a table, we were lucky enough to pick where we wanted to sit because we came before the rush hour and we ended up getting a nice booth, so I was really happy with it. We decided to start the night with a cocktail and here is what we got. So this is what Cal got and it is a... It's a Palma Violet drink, which is essentially, I think it's Prosecco with Violet Gin or Violet Liqueur or something. That sounds nice. Um, it looks as I expected it to look. It matches my nails. Yeah, he was a bit <laughs> skeptical putting it down in front of me, I think, but um, there I you go. if my drink's got flowers in. <laughs> and then this is mine. It is um, peach iced tea with peach iced tea and... Oh, do you want a list? Yes, tell us. Yeah, I'll give you a quick list of what you've got in there. What's in my drink? So the peach iced tea has Kettle One Peach and Orange Blossom Vodka. Peach schnapps and Lipton iced tea with agave. That sounds very nice. I'm very, excited. Very <laughs> Taste test. Tell us how it is. Hopefully it's not bad. Be honest. I will. Be brutally I honest. Mean, to the brim. It is, so yeah, it's that's so pretty full. good. The verdict. Is that actually good? I mean, it's dangerous. Oh, it tastes like iced tea? It does. <laughs> I know you wouldn't lie too, so. It's actually so nice. But very dangerous, I think. Okay, okay. The Palma Violet fizz. <laughs> you look like that Gatsby meme. <laughs> yeah. It smells like Palma Violet super. It does taste a lot like Palma Violet. So I guess the name didn't lie. No, it really does. It's a weird combo though. Okay. Like the Prosecco taste with yeah. the Palma Violet taste is a bit weird. Ooh. Um, but you can try it after and you'll see what I mean. But like, okay. it's nice. I definitely feel like I'm gonna finish my drink and it'll be fine. But it'd probably be a one and done. Ooh. There are nine food vendors and we've ordered from uh, five. five of them because we wanted to try like a bit of everything. And I'm so excited. I think. We've done it perfectly, so I'm going to show you what we got. Cal got a chicken burger. That looks really good, with waffle fries. Yes. These are cheeseburger tots. These are halloumi fries. How beautifully stacked are they? Like, they're a work of art. Don't want to eat them. <laughs> no. I got an Asian slaw from one of the places, just as a side. And then my main are these coconut chicken tacos which I was tempted by the mushroom ones, but I decided to go with these instead. We feasting this date night. <laughs> we are feasting. Also, quick note, in case we wants to put this in there, we've ordered from five out of nine, but two of them, one is specifically desserts, True. and one is bubble tea. So oh, by the yeah. time we leave, we'll be on seven of nine because we're gonna have those two. Yeah, we're gonna have dessert <laughs> and then bubble tea. Yes. <laughs> Guys, this is only showing a tiny percentage of what you can get at this food hall, so we will definitely be coming back to try other things. Okay, we literally just bit into a waffle fry as our first thing, and it's so good. Unreal. It's crispy outside, it's soft inside. Brilliant. Let me fill you in. So you only have two options of intensity, warm or hot. I can't handle spice at all, so I went for warm. Now but the problem is, look at this, so I did this, Ooh. I'm nervous, but we're here to document it, so. Mm. 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 
Yeah? For now. Okay. Yeah, it's quite hot for me. Ooh. I don't know why it's placed in though. Is it good? It's good. Like a smoky flavor. Ooh, sounds nice. I'd like to know more about what that is, to be fair. But yeah, so thankfully there's, a, there's actually ranch inside. So it should cool it down like, a little bit. Nullify it a little bit. <laughs> so far, everything has been really, really good. But the one thing we haven't tried yet, and I'm surprised we haven't, are the halloumi fries. Because they're Cal's like, favorite thing ever. So, the moment of truth. I don't remember at all what is on these. Um, I remember the za'atar, there's pomegranates, I can see them some sort of yogurt, I forgot what kind of yogurt it is, but I'm excited to, to give it a try. I also didn't want to take it apart. So right, it was so prizzy. First feel, they actually feel quite hard, I'll be honest. Ooh, not, okay. I would like hard, like, yeah. Honestly, but... Ooh, okay. Oh. Flavor good, just a bit hard. Flavor good, it tastes as that hard. Okay, okay. It's nice. Mm -hmm. The yogurt's good. It's very really complimentary. Mm. I would guess that they've been sat hot for half an hour. Oh, cow. It tastes good. Oh. It tastes great. But I feel like they cooked them up like half an hour ago, an hour ago, and I just had them heated. So you try and you'll see. I think you'll get the vibe of what I mean. Yeah, the pomegranate was nice. They, they, the flavors like complement yeah. each other really nice. I mean, I don't know if it's the. Like the, the like batter that it's in because it is very tough. But I then even inside is quite dense. See what I mean? Right? Hold on. Uh, focus. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so you can see it's like, I don't know. It's like it's been hot for a while, right? Guys, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's very, very hard. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Not squishy. Not like... Probably the worst thing on the table, I think. Mm. Beautifully presented, so. Yeah, oh well. the Zato is nice, but yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Mm. Right now, we've finished food, and genuinely, I would say it's really good here. I'd say it's a really nice place to go with your friends if you don't know what cuisine you want to have. Now, what we've decided to do is order an ice cream. It was between ice cream or bubble tea, but we're gonna have ice cream. The ice cream place is preps and Sundays, and we were like super indecisive about it. But we've decided to go with an ice cream, and we'll definitely come back another time to try the bubble tea because the flavors look incredible. Like, they look like they have a really good selection of stuff. Okay, so I got my ice cream, and as you can see, it's melting. It's, <laughs> it's falling, falling apart. apart. Oh my god, my chocolate pieces! But I got banana with chocolate pieces, so I probably need to eat it because look. It's all falling apart. Okay, so it was a mix up. Apparently, that one was the Nutella one, but I don't think it is because it tasted like vanilla. And when I was eating it, I was like, that doesn't taste like banana. This is the banana one, which is also melting. And yeah, it, it's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, we are back home. Ugh. I am so full. I'm stuffed. I'm so bloated. I'm very, very full. Mm -hmm. I thought this place was a really good place to go, especially if you're out with your friends or you're on your own and you don't really know what you want to pick. So let's say you wanted a main from one place and then like a side from a different place. I think that's a really good thing to yeah. do and especially when you're with your friends and you can't decide on a cuisine. So yeah. I like the concept. I'm still really annoyed about the halloumi fries. They were really dry. I'll never forgive them. They were heavy, dry, and we just honestly, we left them, which was a shame. But the ice cream at the end was good. Mm, really once good. we decided the mix up yeah you know. once we worked out that nutella is actually vanilla with nutella in which yeah maybe that makes sense now i think about it but i was expecting it just a big no but i've had nutella ice cream before actual nutella ice cream that's brown which is what i was expecting you to get well but i actually didn't I did not. but my banana one was good yeah. i was tempted by the pistachio so i definitely want to go back mm. And I want us to go back so we can try the bubble tea place. Yes, we opted against it in the end just because we were yeah. so full of stuff already. And I wanted to end the night with an ice cream instead mm. of like a bubble tea, you yeah. know? So overall, it was a really nice place. Yeah. You know, there was a few little flaws, but like, you know, I can't fault it from that. Like, our mains were good. Mm. Oh yeah. I think maybe. I'd be more sad if our mains were bad. Yeah. Wow, that rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, just because one of the sides was bad, like, yes, that was annoying. But if our main bit was bad, it would It'd be, be worse. And now we're gonna end the night playing Ratchet and Clank! Yeah! Which is my favorite game of all time mm. since the PlayStation 2. 
and thanks to Callum and PlayStation, we got to get an early code, so it comes out. Well, it'll be out on Friday. So Friday. When you see this, it'll be out. Yeah, it'll be out. But we got out. it early, all right. But we got it early, so I'm so excited to play. Yeah, me too. I think. It's I think be... I could cry. Yeah. Like it's genuinely my favorite game of all time. So, so I might cry. It's gonna be a wonderful end to the night. It is. So I'm gonna show you what the screen looks like. There it is. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you enjoyed seeing us go on date night and you know a little bit of what we got up to and some of the food. And yeah, now we're gonna play PlayStation until the end of the night. Ooh. So until next time, I will see you when I see you.